What's up, YouTube? Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into today's video. You know, we're talking about the baby and his criminal history. If you haven't subscribed or like, please do that before watching the video. So let's get straight into it. So Jonathan Lindell Kirk, he was uh, arrested. His arrest date was on 2013, December the 16th. And, you know, uh, his charge was possession of marijuana. They said he had, you know, up to a half an ounce of marijuana. But in this one... I didn't see no, you know, bond amount. So I don't know if they just, you know, booked him for it. And then just, he just, you know, got, got out. I don't know the story behind that. When I was looking at this picture from when he had got, you know, arrested, you can see like he ain't got no tattoos. He looked real young in this one. It's like, I guess the older baby. And then it, it say he weighed 130 pounds. So that's like, you know, that ain't nothing. I guess that's when he had no muscles like that. Nah. He 5'8". And throughout most of these, you're going to see, like, they all from um, Mecklenburg County. And they around the same, you know, charges. I don't know how you get, like, the same charges, like, over and over. Like, I'm just saying, like, how you get caught over and over doing the same thing. This next one that I have is a felony. This one happened March 11, 2014. And it was the, um, I guess, the felony possession of marijuana. And his bond amount was, like, 5000 So this, this one was um, worse than the other one. And, you know, in this one, he was, uh, his weight is 160, so he getting up there now. This is when he, you know, turned into the baby that we know now. So this one was also from the um, Mecklenburg County Jail. And in this one, you know, his picture, he looked a little bit older, so he looked like he a little veteran at this now. Even though he got a little bigger charge and everything, a little felony charge, so he good. So everybody know about this story. If you know about the baby, you know about the story. So basically, he was in Walmart with his family. He said he was in the baby section. He was shopping, you know, for his baby for the winter. He said it was cold. So he said some people ran up on him. It was two of them. They ran up on him, and, you know, they were trying to act tough. They pulled out a, I guess they put out a little Glock on him. And then, you know, he didn't say he shot him. But we all know who shot him. He said, what would you do? You know, somebody um, whooped out a gun on your family. So, you know, we all know who did it, but they not saying like, they not charging them with the murder or nothing like that. I guess they said they still investigating to this day. It's 2019. You know, it's really wild to me. You guys should think about this, you know, talk about it in the comment section. But the baby, you know, he was, uh, he was in, they was all in the wide open area because he was in the baby clothes section. And um, they got all them cameras in Walmart, so they didn't sh see who shot him. The only person who could have shot him is the baby, because, you know, it's really crazy. He just only got off on the gun charge, so he had his gun on him. The dude partner didn't shoot him. I guess he ran. So the only person who could have shot him is the baby, because he pointed a gun at the baby. The baby got a gun. So that's easy police work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my man's Kirk is wild, so... Once again, this is um going on, you know, Mecklenburg County, you know, and um he all he got was he was sentenced to, he was sentenced to twelve months and he was um unsuper unsupervised probation and thirty days in jail for murdering somebody. That's all he got, and it was in Walmart. It wasn't like it was in his house. You know what I'm saying? It was in the street. It was you know his cameras just in a public place. He just murdered somebody. You know, he one of the top rappers in the game right now. That's crazy. So in this incident, the baby was out at his concert, and then it was this uh, female. She she was like a fan, and he was in the middle of a crowd, and then um she was getting aggressive with the baby. His security guard came over like he's supposed to do, and then um he ended up here um dropping her with two punches, and she was like she was asleep right after those, and then um he he walked away though. But I seen him, like, if you pay attention to him, he, he made a double take. And I guess he was shocked, but he realized it was a uh, it was a female. But, it, like, when you look at it, it doesn't look like a dude, period. So after all of that, the um, security guard had was getting a lot of backlash, backlash from everybody, saying, like, why you hit a girl? Like, why would you hit a girl like that? And, um, you know what I'm saying? They could, you could have did something different. You know what I'm saying? You could have picked her up, you know, moved her out of the situation. But um, he, he had went to the internet to explain himself. And basically, he was saying, like, he was just doing his job. He said he at first he didn't know it was a female. But basically, he just was saying, like, it didn't matter either way it went, whether it was a female or a male. He said he had to do his job as a security. So he didn't really, you know, the outcome would have been the same, basically. So here we go. Another undefeated tale of the baby. So basically, um, I couldn't really find this on the internet like that. Like, just searching in Google, but I found it, you know, 
his own testimony on it on Vlad TV. You can check it out on YouTube. But um, he says basically he was coming from the club. I guess he was promoting his stuff, his music. Came from the club. He went straight to sleep. He was like he said he was on Instagram until he fall asleep. And basically he um somehow had woke him up. He said it was basically, you know, them kick, kicking in the door. He said he woke up. He said he grabbed his uh he said he grabbed that eye. He heard voices, heard a whole bunch of uh, people. He hit the corner. He said he seen five or six people, but that's all he saw. He said he believed it was more. And then he said um he had turned the corner and one of them was close to him, so he had shot at him. This I ain't gonna lie, this sound like the uh soldier boy stuff. He said he had shot at him. And then um he had ran out. He had ran out the um ran upstairs to the garage and ran out the um back door. And then he was he said it's like this little hill. He went behind that and then they they was they had dipped. But I ain't gonna cap. If it wasn't for um that Walmart incident, this would not be believable, period. Cause everything that like he do lines up to him being real and whatever he say he'll do you know what i'm saying so um basically he said then the um, police had came back they had came they pulled up he said he gathered all of them he said he gonna tell them this one time he said that to the uh police so um he's basically saying like he's gonna go tell them one time and he was saying like he's not giving them no details he said they just gonna have to do their job but basically, he said um, they had end up finding the dude in the hospital because they said they're going to search everybody, you know, who got a gunshot wound just recently. The hospital called him up and tell him. And basically, he said they caught the guy, but, you know, they he didn't want to press no charges or nothing like that to him. So I guess, yeah, the baby the real. If this really happened, he real for that. So one. here we go. Another violent viral incident with the baby. So we all know this one. If you know the baby, once again. Uh, the Cam and Cole Hart situation. So basically, you know, the baby he was in the um, Louis Vuitton store, and then he had saw you know Cam Cole Hart had walked in there, a fellow Charlotte. He's Charlotte, North Carolina rapper. So he they basically had a rival, you know, between them. You know what I'm saying? But I guess Cam Cole Hart he was you know he was clout chasing basically. So he walked in the store. The baby was in there, and then. He was taunting the baby. He had threw the first punch at the baby. And then the baby just knocked him out. So if you've seen the video, you already know about it. I'm pretty sure you already seen it. So basically, he was just sitting there with his um pants around his ankle. His nose was bleeding. He, he just was looking real bad. And then afterwards, he had the nerve to, you know, post videos about it. You know, as well. I wouldn't even have came out after that. I'd be done. My rap career would have been done. It would have been over. So now the baby in the big leaves now. He going against the feds the police now so basically um you know how he's getting all the misdemeanors and stuff for sh with the uh charlotte mecklenburg police department well not um so basically he was at a show in um north carolina his hometown he's in charlotte so um it was at the bojang the bojangles coliseum and um basically he was leaving his show and then the, he had found the police called him in the act at his uh car and they were searching for uh, marijuana so he's saying they was doing it unlawfully and then, you know, and then the real problem was they were saying that he resist, resisted arrest. So basically, he said he got the videos and the audio tapes for everything. So he good. And he really they really just took him in and then just put him, you know, they released him. So basically, they didn't really had nothing on them. And I guess they knew they was wrong. So he was going he said he was threatening them to um, release all the evidence. Thank you. I really appreciate it. If you guys made it this far. Um, I'm going to try to make a playlist for all my videos. I need you guys to, you know, lead a playlist, let it play, watch all my videos, like while you sleep or while you go. Thank you, and I'm out.